previously on Mincraft. What we're doing is we're going to be making the metro system go to many different stops. I think one of the stops should be the potion room. But uh, once we get that going, we're going to like put like fucking speed two on that. We could just run everywhere and it's great. Why is there so many skeletons? Come on. And so what I would do is to farm nether skulls is I would like watch a five minute video or something while I AFK'd here. Then I'd come back and I would check to see if there's any wither. What's up everybody and welcome back to Minceraft. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something actually that I've been wanting to do for a while now in Minceraft. It's what actually, it's what got me into Minceraft originally because what I wanted to do is um, I wanted to build, okay, here, let me explain. What happened was when, um, uh, when the Jolly Old Brits used to have a public server, I was a mod on it, so I had creative and everything, and if you guys saw my top 10 traps video, it's, you probably have, I mean, when you were subscribed to me back then, or are subscribed to me recently, it's probably from that video, because it's got like almost a million views now, and it's nuts. But uh, what I did on that server, the, their public servers, all I did was pretty much build traps. Uh, because it was the only server that I had access to that I had creative on, and I didn't like playing by myself. So I liked having just like random people in the server with me. But I did that because it was fun. And what I did was, uh, what, so I just make like a whole bunch of traps like that. And what I wanted to do is, I wanted to start like a vanilla uh, playthrough. And here's Minstraft, you know, vanilla playthrough on a server. And uh, I wanted to do traps and stuff like that, but I never actually got around to it until now. So what I started doing is I want to do I want to do recreations of uh, the traps that I did in um, in that previous uh, the top ten traps episode. And th I'm gonna start with the the really basic one, the basic creeper trap or whatever it is. I don't know if I made a tutorial for this or not. All that I know is that it's the first it's the first thing that I remember building on um, on the Jolly Old Brits public server, so I thought it was fitting that it would be the first thing that I built on, um, on Minceraft. And this, it's like, this is the skeleton of it. This is pretty much all you need to see. There's, uh, what's it called? There's a piston missing. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get that. And on the way, I'll show you some of the new changes. But what I want to do is I want to, because, like, another thing that a lot of people, probably newer subscribers have noticed is that there's not, um, uh, there's not any tutorials up for any of the traps and I want to I want to do all the tutorials I want to do all of them but in my mint trap let's play and I think that actually be really cool and I'm down for it too I have like all the materials it's it's great and I actually with like like with Zach Zach showed me a couple of things with redstone I think I'd be able to make them even better now it's been such a long time since I used it though so I'm gonna have to like do a little bit of practicing and build some on my own because I'm sure that I would literally just piss off people if I um, tried doing it right now, without uh, without actually practicing first and realizing like what I was doing, S like like I had like uh, I had trouble figuring out how to freaking craft a piston before. I believe it's like this. Yeah. Even now I'm a little bit unsure, but pistons are. Come on, give me a break. Pistons are a little bit complicated to build, but. Um, so what I want to do is I want to rebuild all of my traps in Minstraft. I think it'd be really cool. And uh, also, one of the way one of the ways that I justified like doing it over over here, uh, the, the because you know how we have the beacon now after we killed the the wither, what we were the the place that we're planning on putting it is in that giant room right there. And if it's in that giant room, I want to take full advantage of that beacon, right? I don't want there to be like half of it's over here where we're never he like we're never actually over here. So, I decided to like, I'll just start making traps over here. It'll be cool. I could put on like uh, the jumpness, the j j low gravity, high jump. I forget what it's called. I forget what the, the trait's called that you put into the beacon and it makes you jump higher. I think it's feather, lightweight. Yes, it might be lightweight. And um, so I put on lightweight and swiftness and it's, uh, that'd be like pretty cool for making traps and stuff. And uh, the way that this works is, I believe... I just need to do something like this, like that, have this connect. Hmm. So the way that I would have this work is I'd have it like this. I actually don't believe I need this one. I'm going to use it anyways, just in case. And then what would happen is 
what you guys what, what, what this trap does is uh it makes it so that there's a flush trap it look like that it would look exactly like that actually the trap would look like this any sort of pressure plate and you would stand on it and the pistons would come up around you and the block would get pushed down one and you'd be two blocks trapped so it's not like if you made it just like a hole like this it, it's the easiest trap in the world it's freaking easy so what i made is i made it flush which was a little bit more complicated. Also, I made it so that it wasn't just this one and this one and this one. I added corners to it. And the way that this works is uh, you put like a little thing here. You put a redstone on top. The, the reason why there's a redstone here is because when... The way that it works... Just like that. And the way... The reason why it does this... It, it takes... It's not... There's no manual reset for it. I'm not sure if I can make a manual reset for this. It'd probably be a lot more complicated. I could probably figure it out now because I've gotten slightly better with redstone, but I'm still not that great with it. I think the redstone itself would just screw with it a lot, but I'll try to figure that out like on my own, but right now this is the way that I did it. What I did is um, this, when, when, the, when the pressure pad gets triggered, all of these go up because it sends a charge down here all the way around and then these one it activates it activates this uh, the cor the middle ones because the redstone was touching it and then what I did is I have it sending around uh, here I'm not sure if I can make this better but this is the only really way that I could figure out how to do it and you have it send around like this to each of the corners and it's it's essentially this, it's mirrored for each of the corners and that's that's a way, that is a way of making the corners go up. Like this is this is one thing that's gonna frustrate me a lot in this video is there's probably gonna be a lot of people who are just gonna say stuff like, oh yeah, you should use a fucking T flip flop redstone. And just like say random stuff and I have no idea what you're talking about. So just chill, all right? This was the most basic thing that I made. This was one of the first redstone contraptions I've ever made in my life, you know? Like I guarantee, by now, well not by now, if like, like, I could probably figure out how to make this uh, manual, like you could manual reset this, pretty quickly probably. I could probably make this really easy to do, but um, this was the way that I did it for the first time that I, hey Zach, what's up? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, and I'll probably do some stuff with him later, but... So when you stand on the trap, it goes up and falls down. And look, you're trapped. This works on mobs 100% of the time. And it's just, it's great. I love it. I love this trap. There's probably, like, some really easy ways that you could, like, make sticky pistons. You could make it so that, like, um, what's it called? I know what these are called. It's like, um, it's like one of the locking things. The redstone. How come I can't remember this? I was like working with it like not even a day ago on the um, the spawner thing. What is it called? Yeah, yeah, the RS Norlatch or something. You could probably make it work like that and have them just go up as sticky pistons and you hit a button and it goes back down. The only problem is that I have no idea how to make the piston in the middle go down by itself without without having the redstone actually interfere interfere with everything really badly i think if i tried with like uh some repeaters it might work but the thing is the more repeaters you put into this the more delayed it is which makes it less efficient because then the trap's not going to spring fast enough to catch the thing because say that the, the guy is going to walk into it and it there's like maybe a, a tick and a half where it has to go through until it actually starts because it has to go through a whole bunch of wiring it's not going to be fast enough for the things. This this requires absolutely no redstone repeaters. Actually, just one at the bottom so that the, the block doesn't glitch out. But this doesn't require any sort of delay to it, which makes it instant, which makes it actually rather efficient at catching things. Sorry, the reason why I'm sort of hiccuping is because I just ate dinner. So. so that's how you made that trap. And it was actually a lot of fun to make the first time I did it because I was like, yes, you know, I actually improved on something that I made before obviously the one that I made before was just the regular fall and the things go up and everything but I guarantee I'll probably like 
once I finish this episode, I could probably like take maybe half an hour to figure out how to do it. The only reason why I'm not doing it now is because number one, it'll take half an hour. That's kind of long. And number two, that's half an hour of watching some idiot try to fuck around with redstone. So I don't exactly want to like put you guys through that. But uh, let's cover this up so we can get a final look at what it's what it is. It's kind of easy to reset as well. So, that's the trap. You just walk in and it's like, yeah, you fall down, you're screwed. Works every time on creeps. I Well, it, in the old server, I don't know if this one has less lag or more lag or if that's gonna affect it or anything. So what I'm gonna do is to test it, is I'm going to go ahead and get a, that like, <laughs> that was rhythm. Oh, he left. Maybe he thought I was AFK, because <laughs> I didn't say anything. Uh, sorry, I was in the middle of something. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a mob. Yeah, pretty sure spiders don't work. Is that the sun coming up? Where the hell have the mobs been? Oh, okay. I think I just did a good job lighting it up. Let's put a zombie in it. Yeah, I don't have any food on me. I'll probably go get some baked potatoes later. Yeah, you zombie. Come here. I actually want to pick that up. Wow, that there were four string in that? Looting three for you, ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to lure to him and see if it works. So like I said, I'm going to be replicating the traps. And even the complicated ones like the overkill or um, stuff like that. I want to redo all of them in Minstrap. I think that'd look really cool. So come on, big boy. I'm going to see if it works at him coming on a weird angle, but he actually just might end up going on it straight. Come here, buddy. Come here. Perfect. See, look at that. You can't say that's not sort of cool. You could get, like, creepers and stuff tra trapped in this. And this is actually a really easy way of doing it, too, because it's like they, some they can, like, just walk on the edges of this one, you know? Like, if they hit the edge here... For that trap, they're gonna get pushed in, so. I don't know, I like this trap. It works, it works the way it's wired. You guys don't have to worry your pretty little, your pretty little selves about that, about how it's wired, because as I can clearly just demonstrate, it's a working piece of equipment. I'm proud of it, I like it, it's fun. I wanna see if Zach goes and tries to figure out what it does. Also, you could very, very, very easily make that lethal and have them fall into lava. How come you're not dying? If they have a quit, if they have armor on, they don't die from. That's cool. It's not. It's not glowing, so I'm not gonna get it. Okay, fucking. I'll just do this so I don't have to. Do I have any food on me at all? Ugh. Fine. I'll walk back. Die assholes. Go and get some food. I don't know. I think I might be out of baked potatoes, so I'm gonna have to like make some more. Also, we fixed. We made a cow farm. We made a cow farm, and I actually could farm a couple of those right now. Um, this is where it's gonna be. This is where the beacon's gonna be. That's what Zach said, anyways. Tick. Do it again. Tick. There it is. So where's the food in here? Oh no, it's, this is the food. Yeah, see, look at this steak. I think he has cooked steak. No, 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 this, this is cooked steak. Okay. So all we gotta do is like get, I've got a, um, I've got a fire sword right here. Sharpness, what is it? Fire aspect two and looting two. I think they fixed the bug where if you kill him manually while he's on fire, he didn't used to drop cooked meat, but now he does the, the things. We're actually gonna test that. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. It's downstairs where we have it. Um, I think it's in here where's the wheat. Wow, we're running low on wheat. That's strange, okay. So I can't wait to start working on more traps. That was a lot of fun back in the day. It was like seven months ago. And it's actually nuts. That video almost has a million views. Okay, come here guys. You, mate, 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 mate. This is where we have the cow farm, obviously. I mean, 
Zach and I want to put a cow face on the wall. We need more wool, though. We need gray, white, brown. I'm trying to... Okay, okay, don't get glitched through the wall. Whoo, that was close. Okay, this is the diamond sword. This is what I like doing. Normally, if say that you have two swords next to each other that are both um, enchanted, I have one of them that's named Poke and one of them that's not. So this one is the... Yeah, see, look, cooked steak. And he didn't die from the fire. That's awesome. And if they do die from the fire... They still give you cooked steak. Awesome. They fixed that. I remember back a while ago, like maybe a couple months ago, it wasn't actually that case. That wasn't actually the case, so. Let's go ahead and pick up this leather just because it's good for books. In case we want to make like a really cool library later. Not sure though. Oh, uh, one last thing before I go. Uh, I want to show the fact that we actually have a double zombie spawner. Like we found, we, we were strip mining and we found a um, second zombie spawner that's literally directly below the one that we have now by about 30 or 40 blocks. So I'm really stoked for when we get up the double XP farm for that. How the fuck? I think it's just because that's dark. Here. Let's actually light that up a little bit. Yeah, because he didn't come from down there, obviously. Maybe from in here. Anyway, uh, I changed this area up a little bit. I made it so that, uh, obviously this is still the same. I just moved it down a little bit. I cleared this out. I want to do a design here. I'm thinking of doing lights here where there's the, there's the sensor that senses when you're on it and it lights up the one that's like ahead of you because if it was beside you, you wouldn't see the effect. But if it was the one ahead of you, it would light up like this in a circle as you're going down. I think it'd look really, really cool. The only problem with it is that the the, the tunnel would be dark anyway. Like, uh, it would be dark, uh, which would make zombies spawn when you're not using it. So there'd be always like creeps on the, spawn, on the, the track and everything and I don't actually want that. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing for the design for this uh, cavern. Uh, zombie farm. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing for this, um, this design. I think that'd be a good idea, but Dunn's no. Yeah, I showed you guys that everything. This, this goes straight down to the zombie spawner. Pretty much. Like the, the zombie spawner up there is about... I want to say right about here where it's uh, where the actual spawner is located the block and this one is right here so this is gonna be freaking cool honestly because what we could do is we can make the zombies in here go up through a water elevator and the ones up there fall down and then we have the place that you sit somewhere in the middle so that it activates both of them and it's gonna logically double the um, amount of zombies that you can get, which will increase the farm rate and everything. It's gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to that. Me and Zach are probably gonna get working on that, but uh, that's probably for another time. We have like other stuff that we wanna do. And uh, you know what? That's pretty much it for this episode. Sorry if it's a bit short. Um, the reason why it was a bit short is because I actually tried to film this before and it was half an hour and I tried to build the the trap that you saw and it took almost 15 minutes, like almost 20 minutes. And I thought that was too frustrating to watch so I uh, just stopped. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna fucking restart. So I just went through it in an orderly fashion. Not a lot of stuff that, um, uh, not a lot of like being held up on random stuff. Like I remember I talked about this whole train station for like five minutes. It's like I could just be like, I don't know what the design is, guys. This one's not going to work. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, that's, I think, where I'm going to call it. I, I really, I really am glad that I'm getting back into, like, uh, the whole redstone thing. Because I remember that was so much fun back in the day. Derp. Did I show you guys that this uh, actually makes it... When, when you go this way, I think, is this, is this whole track new? I'm not sure if in my previous episode I went over this track. But what happens is when you go over this thing, it changes this back makes you go in here because otherwise you would just cut right you take a hard right and you go to the storage room when clearly clearly you just want to like sort of come stay here switch to storage room there you go i like this anyway um i think that's what i'm going to call it zach and i have been farming a lot of iron and we're hoping to get the beacon up soon 
Uh, we have around a little bit over a hundred blocks of iron. I'm not sure. I think you may need about 60 more blocks, which is about 900 or so more iron. So once we get that done, I cannot wait because it's going to make it so much more fun and easier to get around everywhere. But other than that, guys, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Mince Raft. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace. Here it is, I'm going to show you guys how to make the Mangler. I recreated it in my survival server that I play on, uh, the server is called Mince Raft. Uh, same thing with the other side, it just branches off this way, it goes, uh, wires into this, and it closes that way. Then what happens is, this is where things start to get a little bit complicated. It turns this back on, stopping the clock. And that's how it works.